Shalom, Mabohai, and good to see you, my friends. It's been a while. I wish I could say that I was up to something big these last couple months, but uh, truth be told, I haven't been. I've just been busy with the routine of life, which can really get the best of us sometimes. I did, however, purchase one of those fancy circular lights. I'm using it right now for the first time. Kind of gives a little halo effect. Um, don't know if the light is very flattering, but hey, you need one of those in order to do YouTube videos now, right? Gotta keep up with the Joneses. One thing that did happen to me that I want to talk about a few months ago was I was attacked online. It was the strangest thing. This woman decided to make fun of the number of likes that my posts were getting. Very small number of likes. Very small number of views. And then she decided to call me snarky. And the odd thing is, this happened not on Facebook, not on Instagram, not on TikTok, but on LinkedIn. A site that is allegedly for professionals. Well, I tried to tell her that her remarks hurt me. She didn't really seem to want to change her behavior. So I'm, I'm entering into the process of forgiving her. And as most mature Christians know, forgiveness is not instantaneous. It is a process. Uh, and it's going to take a while, to be quite honest. But that's not why I'm here today. Today I'm here to talk to you about Psalm 136. I, I had to come up with something. I, it's been so long since I posted a video and I really wanted uh, to, to connect with you all again. I read Psalm 136 this morning and I'm not going to read it to you. You all can read it for yourselves. But one of the things that struck me was it was like a call and response that you occasionally, you usually see in churches. The pastor says one thing and the congregation responds with something else. Every other line in Psalm 136 was the same. His steadfast love endures forever. I encourage you to read Psalm 136, and I encourage you to read it out loud. And as you hear yourself saying over and over again, His steadfast love endures forever. His steadfast love endures forever. His steadfast love endures forever. You'll actually start to believe it, which is good because it's true. Now, even though we know it's true intellectually, we know it in our mind, as Joyce Meyer says, it's those last 18 inches getting it from our brains to our hearts where we know that we know that we know that God's steadfast love endures forever and we actually begin to live out our lives like we believe that. And admittedly, there are days when we doubt that. There are days when I doubt that. But just because I doubt something doesn't mean that it's not true. You see, it's true regardless of what my feelings are telling me. Feelings are not facts. It's an overused slogan, yes, but it's true. And unfortunately, over the last several years, we have given increased importance, almost unquestionable sovereignty to our feelings. Our feelings decide our truth. But it's not like that. It's not like that at all. Never has been, never will be. God's steadfast love endures forever. God does not lie. And as Christians, we believe that the Bible is the inerrant word of God. So if God says that his steadfast love for us endures forever, well, then that's the way it is, folks. Regardless of how you feel about it, regardless of how I feel about it. Yes, there are some days when we, we doubt it, but even on those bad days, even on those days where we feel like God has completely abandoned us, he has not. And again, all I can point you to is the cross. Where Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice. He did the ultimate good thing for us, his enemies. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. 
So if God made the ultimate sacrifice for us who were dead set against him, how much more now that we're reconciled to him will he come through for us? In the way we want? No. No. On our timetable? Oh, definitely not. Take it from me. But his steadfast love endures forever. Believe it and be satisfied. It was good to see you all again. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.